Good morning, Grace. Hi. Hi, my name's Chelsea, like I told you on the phone yesterday. And I'm here to talk to you um, from the Department of Children's Services. And I need to talk to you about a phone call that came into our agency um, from somebody who has some worries about some things that are going on with your daughter, Lauren. Okay. Okay. So I really appreciate you being here today and letting me into your home. Okay. Is Lauren already off to school? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you have been up early getting stuff done, getting yes. Lauren out to school yes, already? Yes, I got her up, dressed, and fed her. She's already at school. How does she do in the morning with getting up and getting um, ready for school? She's pretty well behaved. She's a good girl, so it's not too hard to get her. She likes going to school. Mm -hmm. She likes her um, teacher there. So it's not, it's, not very, it's not too bad. It's not too bad in the mornings. That's great. How do you manage to make it run well, so smoothly um, with her? You know, my, I have help from my family. I live with um, my grandma, mm -hmm. and she does help. And um, it's, you know, it's just me and her right now, so it's, it's okay. That's great. Okay. Well, um, <coughs> one of the things that often happens when our department comes out to talk to people is people can feel um, worried, scared, maybe even angry. Um, and I wanted to check in with you about that. I know that you've had some experiences with our, with our department before with your older daughter. And I just wanted to check in to see how you're feeling, if that's distracting for you, if, if you maybe want to talk about that a little bit before we move forward. Um, well, I'm a little nervous. Mm -hmm. I do want to say that I'm a little nervous. But, um, but I'm OK. OK. So what I'd like to really start with today is talking to you about maybe some of your worries and also talking to you about what do you think is going really well in your family right now? What are the things that um, work well for Lauren and help her to, to function the way she is? Well, um, like I said, I do have help from my family. Mm -hmm. um, I live with my grandma, like I said, and also an aunt. Okay. So they do help. And um, Lauren is a well-behaved child. I know that you know, the worker has said that she's maybe not doing what she should be doing at her age, but, you know, I figure it's going to just happen. She'll figure it out as she gets older and when she's ready, like the potty training and stuff like that. Okay. I don't really see, you know, that big of a deal about it. Okay, so your worker, and what worker are you referring to? Michelle. Michelle, and, and where does she work with you from? She's my... Um, DDS worker. Oh, okay. Okay. So Michelle's expressed some concerns to you about Lauren? Yes, yeah, she has brought up, you know, she has discussed with me some things that, like I said, I don't think they're that big of a deal, like she still drinks out of a bottle. Okay. Because she's my baby, mm -hmm. you know, and that's, she's my baby and she doesn't like to use a cup sometimes, so I do let her do that. And she's not quite potty trained yet. She doesn't, she's scared of the toilet. I'm not going to force her to go on it. Okay. So, so Michelle's worried that um, Lauren is drinking from a bottle and she is drinking from a bottle? Yes, I do let her sometimes because like I said, she's my baby and I don't really see what the big deal is about that. Okay. Has Michelle explained to you any reason why she's worried about that? Well, I know she's got some dental issues, but I do take her to her appointments and we are, we are trying to deal with her dental issues that she has right now. So oh. I, am, I am taking care of it. Okay. You have an appointment. What dental issues does she have? She's got some teeth decay. Okay. And when's your appointment? Um, I think it's next Tuesday. Okay. So you have a dentist appointment. Michelle's worried about some tooth decay be, and caused by using the bottle. Yes. Okay. And then you mentioned potty training and Michelle's expressed Well, she's word. not quite potty trained and she's four. So uh, Michelle has said that that's you know, normally at that age children are potty trained. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Lauren has some issues that, you know, mm -hmm. she has some issues with her developmental issues, and I don't want to force her to do anything. Okay. So are you worried at all about the, the bottle causing tooth, tooth decay? I don't think it's that big of a deal. Okay. You're not worried that your daughter has cavities? From well, the like bottle? I said, I'm taking care of it. Okay. So I don't, I don't see what the big deal is. I'm taking care of it. Mm -hmm. So you're not too worried about that? Not really. Have you ever thought about um, trying to transition her to a cup? I do try. Like I know uh -huh. at school they give her a cup. So at school, she does drink from a cup at school. They don't allow bottles at school. Oh, okay. And her daycare and teacher know that. Daycare provider and teacher know that. So they, they give her a cup. But oh, just okay. at home, you know, I do let her use a bottle. Mm -hmm. it's, she likes it, and I, I let her do that. Okay. So um, she has some practice using a cup. and. Do, has the teacher told you, does she do well with a cup at school? She does okay. Okay. 
So um, if it was really important for Lauren to stop using a bottle so that she could, you know, kind of grow up a little bit and um, especially because you have babies coming, right? Yes. And sometimes when babies come along, um, the older, the other siblings, you know, they like to be the big kid. And so I, I, if, if I could, could I just ask you a question about that idea of transitioning her to a cup? Yes. So um, let's just say, you know, here I'm going to put a zero right here and I'm going to make a line over here and over here I'm going to put a 10. So a zero right here is, you know, you're not worried at all. You have no concerns. You've never thought of asking her to stop using the bottle. It's, it's just really never crossed your mind. You, you feel like she could keep using the bottle till, you know, for a long time from now. That's a zero. 10 is, you're pretty worried about her using the bottle. You'd like her to be able to just use a cup at home, knowing that you're going to have two more bottles with the twins coming. And you really think it's time for her to start using a cup and feeling like a big girl. Um, where would you say you're on that scale? Zero, not worried at all. You're just going to let her use a bottle as long as she wants. And 10, you think it's time, like right now today, to stop? Maybe like a three. A three, OK. Is there anything that um, Michelle has said or that you've thought about that or that we could discuss today that might make you move up just a little bit closer to the 10 that you might think about, you know, it's going to be hard to have three bottles or my daughter's teeth are decaying because of the use of the bottle, maybe. Well, I think that, like I said, I think that when she's ready, mm -hmm. she'll let me know. She'll let you know. I think that when she's ready, she'll let me know. I don't want to force her to do anything. Okay. And if, if Michelle continued to be very worried about that, and this, uh, us as a department continued to be worried about that, is there anything that we could help you to move you forward closer to the idea of maybe starting to transition her off of that bottle? Well, at this point, I'm not sure what you guys could do. I guess it's, um, it'd be up to me to enforce it with Lauren. But is that a challenge for you? Have you tried to enforce it? It is, because at home, she's so used to always having it. Mm -hmm. She's four, and it's just comforting for her to mm -hmm. have it. And I let her have it at home, and she knows that. So, you know, I don't even fight with her about it. I don't think it's worth a big old fight. Okay, so when you try to tell her no to the bottle, have you tried to tell her no before? Sometimes, but you know, mm -hmm. I'm tired and I mm -hmm. want to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. It helps her sleep at night. She wants her baba and she doesn't want, sometimes she won't, she won't fall asleep without it. So, you know, now with being pregnant, I'm really tired and sometimes I don't even want to fight with her. I just would rather mm -hmm. just go to sleep and let her, let her have it. It's so much easier. Right. right. And I'm tired. So it's, um, it's a lot easier for you to just to kind of give in, let her have what she wants so she's yeah, not it's crying. Just, it lets us both sleep better. Mm -hmm. So really it might be helping her because it helps us sleep better. It helps us sleep better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, when the twins do get here, um, how do you think things are going to be going then with Lauren and, and the sleeping and the, and the crying and, and really wanting what she wants and you, and you giving in to that? Well, I, you know, I haven't really, honestly, haven't really thought too much about that mm -hmm. at that point. I guess I'll just have to deal with it when it gets here, mm -hmm. cross that bridge when I get to it. Would you be willing to work with me and maybe some of your support people and perhaps Michelle or other people in your life to kind of come up with a plan to get ready for those twins coming and yes. maybe help Lauren prepare for that? And Yes. Okay. That's great. Can we talk a little more about the potty training also? Okay. As um, my understanding was that Lauren used to use the potty regularly and that she did re have some recent dental work done. And since that dental work, that it's been a lot harder for her to, to use the potty and you've kind of gone back to using diapers with her. Yeah, it's kind of like the same thing. She's, um, she's comfortable and it, since she drinks the bottle at night, she needs a diaper. So even if I didn't have one on her during the day, at night she needs one. So. She just, you know, it's so much easier for me. You know, I'm tired and it's just so much easier than having to take her to the potty every 20 minutes or 30 mm -hmm. minutes. It's just a lot easier. So you're, you're feeling really tired with this pregnancy. Yes. Is that one of your worries that you're really tired and yes. it's hard to keep up with Lauren? And it is. And yeah. I do help help for my family, but mm -hmm. you know, it, there are days that I just want to sleep. Yeah. So if you don't mind, I'm just going to write here on this paper, um, worries over here on this side and things that um, are working well. Okay. And I hear you saying that one of your worries is that you're often tired. Mm -hmm. 
And I also hear you saying that when you're tired, that you give Lauren her way a lot because it's easier for you. Yeah, like especially at night, she always wants her bottle at night. Mm -hmm. So it's easier for me just to make her a bottle and just lay down with her mm -hmm. instead of having to go through a big old fight or anything like that. Do you mind if I share with you some of my experience with other parents and kids and what can happen if, if you, um, because of your being tired, which I can understand, is, it's hard. I have kids too. It's, I'm really tired sometimes at night as well. Um, sometimes though, when parents are too tired and, and kids start to figure that out, if they have a fit or cry or uh, fall on the floor, you know, or um, refuse to do what you ask, like take a cup, I heard you say you've tried, mm -hmm. that the more we give in to that, the more we're gonna get that behavior whenever we want something from our kids. So I'm a little worried hearing you say that um, it's easier for you and if you don't do it, Lauren will have a fit because what happens when she's 12 and she wants something and you say no and she's the same size as you then and she starts having a fit maybe. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Yeah, so um, do you feel a little worried that, uh, that you give in to her and, and that maybe you need to kind of set some boundaries? Maybe a little. Okay. And you've already said that you're willing to work with a team of people to kind of help you with that. Yeah. So I really appreciate that. Um, so I'm going to put, do you understand what I mean by boundaries? Yeah. Okay, so like if you say, Lauren, I want you to take a cup, and she says, no, I want my bottle, I want my bottle, what, what would you say? Well, normally I would just let her have it so we could go to sleep. Mm -hmm. But um, I know my uh, DDS worker has brought that up also and I think she's tried to help me with ways to do it too but I mean it's it's fine when we're talking about it sitting right here right but it's a whole different story when I'm tired and I want to go to sleep and I don't want to fight with my daughter it is and she's it's normally well behaved other than when she is having an issue like this when she, she wants her way yeah and trying to she tell normally her is a well behaved mm -hmm. girl so mm -hmm. I normally don't have any you know issues with her. So you understand so that what I, what I mean by boundaries is sticking to what you say. Yes. And so you're a little worried, it sounds like, that sometimes now that we've talked a little bit, if you continue to not stick with what you say, that maybe her behaviors will start to get worse. Yeah, I didn't really think about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I'm just going to write that wanting to learn um, to set boundaries with Lauren. Do you have any other worries when you think about your home, your family, how things are going from day to day? Well, um, my ex-boyfriend, you know, sometimes I sometimes I worry because we've had issues in the past and just he's threatened to kill my cat and just stuff like that. So sometimes I do worry about just stuff like that. But he's, it's been working out so far. He's had visits with Thorin and it's so far been working out fine. Okay, so I hear you saying that the visits are working. Can you tell me more about that? What makes the visits work well? Um, he is, well, we're not in a relationship anymore, so that might help a little bit. Um, and he's gotten some counseling and stuff. So the visits are good. He meets with Lauren two hours a day. And there, she seems to enjoy when he's around. And the visits have gone well. Okay, so he meets with her two hours every day, or how, how many days? Yeah, it's, he tries to come every day. Okay, and that has worked well? Yes. You mentioned that there was some issues in the um, past. In the past, he's, he has some issues with me because I know he wants to be with me still, and he's threatened me in the past. Um, I m remember one day he came and he was throwing stuff at our door, and... He's got some personal stuff he has, he's working out, so sometimes he gets frustrated and he'll come and, you know, either be violent or, like I said, throw stuff at our house or stuff like when that. When was the last time something like that happened? Um, it's been, it's been a good couple months. Okay. He's been pretty, he's been okay for a while. So, like I said, there's improvement there. So it's been about two months since he's about three months been angry. Yeah, and when he's angry, he said he throws things. He throws he stuff. Yells, he threatened he to kill your cat. Yeah, he said. When did when did he last threaten you or, or throw things? Um, that might have been about three or four months ago. Okay, 
But like I said, you, Lauren wants to see her dad. Right. So, you and, know. and you said when he's here visiting with when her? When he does visit with her, he's a lot calmer, and they do have good visits. So I do want to continue that. Okay. He does have good visits with Lauren, and I know it does help her. Now, um, has he ever thrown things or yelled at you or threatened you when Lauren was there with you? Yes. Okay, so Lauren's watched that happen. Yes. And what did Lauren do when she saw that happening? She just ran in the other room. She ran in the other room? Mm -hmm. So with her running in the other room, would you say that she was scared or sad? Or I what think she probably was scared. You think she was scared? Okay, so does that worry you? That She's been scared by her yeah, father. Yeah, it does, and that's when the courts got involved. And okay. um, before this was a little bit while back, um, and had him go to counseling and that type of thing. And he has gotten a lot better. Okay, so he went to counseling because uh, how did the courts get involved? Um, I had to file a restraining order. Okay, and is that since he's gone to counseling? But since has then, it's been dropped because he has done well and he hasn't had any violent outbursts and the visits have been going well with Lauren. So we did drop that and the courts were willing to drop the restraining order and anything like that so he could have visits so with Lauren. So he could come have visits, okay. And they yeah. have been going well. That's great, that's very good. I'm glad that they're going well. That's probably really nice for Lauren. It is. Um, since um, he has finished counseling, has there been any time where he's yelled at you or threatened um, or done anything that scared you? Lately, no. And when did he finish counseling? Um, I, as far as I know, he might still be going. Oh, okay. He's still in the process of getting I think he's still counseling. going. Mm -hmm. Okay. Even though the restraining orders were dropped, I think he still goes. Okay. And this incident that happened in front of Lauren, how long ago was that? It was about four months ago. Okay. And, and since then, has there been a time that he's done been um, angry in front no, of her? No. Not really, no. Not really? Or no. no. I, he came over one time and he... We had a little argument, but it was nothing violent, and it was nothing too loud or anything like that. Mm. What were you? And my grandma doesn't like him. I know that. Mm. So you know, but you know, it's what can I do? It's still the father of my kid. So what can I do? Yeah. What can you do? And what can you do? How how have you managed to to handle that? And knowing knowing that he's thrown things and threatened you and yelled at you, how do you manage to have him in your home? And, and still visit with him? What do you do to make that work? Well, I just kind of stay out of the way. I know sometimes he probably, like I said, I think he still wants to be with me. Sometimes maybe he comes to see me too. But I just like, like to have let him and Lauren have their time. Okay. So and I'll leave. You, sometimes I leave and leave Grandma him. stays there. Okay. Or I'll just go in the other room. But it's a little apartment, so it's mm. that it's kind of hard too. Mm -hmm. It's not much space that we can go. Okay. So with all that said, then, it sounds to me like there is still maybe some worries about your relationship and the fighting that has gone on and maybe that it scared little. Lauren. Okay. Yeah, a little bit. Is there anything else that you're worried about? Uh, <coughs> no, not really. Okay. Like I said, I think Lauren's doing okay. Yeah, and I've heard you say some good things, that the visits go well, that Lauren's happy to see her dad when he comes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she is. Mm -hmm. And that... Um, that she's pretty well behaved most of the time. Yeah, normally she's a well behaved little girl, yes. And you're able to get her up and off to preschool. Yes. And uh -huh. What else is working well? Um, like I said, she really likes her school and her daycare okay. provider. The school's going well for her, okay. Uh -huh. And, you know, her, I always get good reports from school and from daycare. She had a good day, so great. I think she likes it. That's great. What else? What else is going well in your um, life? My family helps me a lot. Um, your, your Family, can you tell me again who lives in your home? Uh, it's myself, my daughter, my my grandma, okay. and an aunt. And your aunt, mm -hmm. okay. And how do they help you? Um, they help me with um, sorting stuff out like bills. Um, they do help me with Lauren a lot also. And um, like when I'm tired, you know, I want to go lay down, they'll help me with Lauren. Okay, so they help take care of Lauren? Yes. And they help you with your bills. Who mm -hmm. helps pay the bills? Uh, we all do. Okay. You work together to get the bills done? Yes. But Grandma normally takes care of all that. Mm -hmm. All how the financial stuff she pays. She knows though. how to do all the oh. financial stuff. That's I'm nice. not very good with that stuff. You're not? No. 
That can be hard, huh? Yeah, so I just leave it all to her. She does it all. Well, that's nice for you to have that mm -hmm. support. That, that, that does help a lot. Yeah. How about your aunt? What does she help with? Um, she, oh, same thing. She helps with Lauren here and there um, and lives with us. So, you know, financially she also helps. Okay, so they help out financially. Mm -hmm. how, do they, how does Lauren like having her, her aunt and She grandma? loves her aunt and her grandma. Mm -hmm. How do you know that? She loves, she always tells me she loves them and wants to go with them. So she, I know that they love her and that she loves them and they do help care for her. What kind of things do you guys do for fun at home, um, you and Lauren? We color sometimes. I take, we have a park down the street from our house. If it's a nice day, we'll walk there sometimes. But lately it's been a little harder because I have been so tired. Mm -hmm. um, so, but normally, like when I wasn't pregnant, we did a lot more outdoor things. Mm -hmm. um, lately it, it's not as much because the weather hasn't been so warm and I, I'm a lot more tired lately. Yeah. So I, I really haven't been lot. able to <coughs> do as much with Lauren as mm -hmm. I used to because I'm tired. I want to take a nap. And so she'll go with her aunt or sometimes her grandma will take her to go get ice cream or something. But I normally don't take her out very much anymore because I'm, I'm tired. Mm. How do you think Lauren is doing with that? Well, she loves being with her grandma and her aunt, so I think okay. she's okay. She likes going with them. So you haven't noticed her behavior change or anything since you've felt yourself be a little more tired? I don't think so. So she's still getting to play and do stuff with grandma and aunt? Yeah. They're really yeah. stepping up and helping. Yeah. That's great. And then I, I also heard you talk about the dentist, that you have an appointment for her teeth. She's had some dental work, and mm -hmm. she hates going, so mm -hmm. it's a fight to get her there. But So she doesn't, those are not good days. She does mm -hmm. not like going because she hates the dentist because she's had so much dental work done, but she has wow. to go. So tell me about those days. That must be hard to deal with when yeah. she's having her fits. How do yeah, you manage she, to get her there? I just, have to, I just take her. I, there's nothing I can do. Sometimes mm -hmm. grandma or aunt has to help me because she doesn't want to get in the car and she stays in the house and it's kind of a hassle, but I have to get her to her appointments. Well Michelle's that's told great. me I've had to get yeah. her there. Mm -hmm. She's and got you're to get able that taken to do care that. Of. Yes. That's a good start because that, that probably means that you'll be able to kind of set those boundaries with the bottle and, and with the diapers and, and get some help around maybe some ideas of how you can do that when yes. we meet again. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just going to ask you a little question um, about what you hope for in your life in the future. So um, with all the work you're doing, getting Laura to school and, and her enjoying that, with the twins coming, um, and I think I'm hearing you say maybe you're a little unsure if it's important to stop the bottle and the diaper, but when you think two years, let's say from now, and you have Lauren, you have your new babies there with you, what do you hope for? What do you hope to see happening in, in two years from now with your family? Um, well, I think we're okay right now. Um, hopefully, Lauren's still doing good in school and mm -hmm. doing well, and hopefully we can still pay our bills. I know it'll be harder with the two babies, mm -hmm. but I might be able to get some help um, financial, assistant beca financial assistance because I'm going to have two more children. Mm -hmm. So I already told Grandma that will help because she's worried about that too. So you're doing and some planning. To yeah, and I know it's going to be a little tight in our apartment, but I just think that I just need a, maybe just a crib for the twins. I mean, they're little. They're not going to take up that much space. I told Grandma I think we should just get a, a crib and just put them both in there and we'll be fine. Mm -hmm. She's worried we might not have enough space, but I mean, they're little. They're not going to take right. up that much space. Well, when you showed me around the house um, when I first got here, I noticed that you had a bassinet mm -hmm. and that um, Lauren has her own little bed. So um, when you think about your needs right now, I'm thinking maybe just another bassinet. What do you think? You're, you're talking a crib? Yeah, I'm thinking another bath. For now, when they're little, maybe just uh -huh. another bassinet. It might be nice to have them both in their own right. little bed. And then as they get older, maybe just a crib. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. Okay. So you, you maybe have some needs right now as far as um, a bassinet or another sleeping area for one of the babies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything else that you feel like you need right now? Well, I haven't really thought about it. You know, I'm not due for another couple months, so I haven't really thought too much about that. But for now, just another bassinet. Okay. Well, why don't you do a little thinking about that? And um, I'd like to also 
by the way, um, I didn't really go over this, but I'm taking notes here. You're welcome to look at anything. I just write it down so that I can remember when I get back. Okay. Because I, I don't want to miss misstate anything that we've talked about today. So if okay. you want to look at that, that's fine. It's just to help me remember. Do you ever forget things? Yeah, talking all the to time. somebody for a all while. All the time. Yeah, me too. So that helps. Um, let's talk about the meeting that we're going to have. I'd like to have it maybe in about two weeks, give you a little time to think about that's fine. who you'd like to invite. Can we do a little exercise here to help you sure. start thinking about that? This is called a a network, a safety network. So we, what we really try to help families do is to bring a support system together, to bring a group of people that can help you, to help you address some of these worries that you have about the future, about the baby's coming, and about maybe setting some boundaries for Lauren. So the inner circle here is Lauren, and will be your twins too when they come, because that's our focus. We want the best for your kids, and I'm sure that that's what you want. Yes, of course. Yeah. So this circle right here, when we put that around, this is the people in your life right now that understand your situation, that know how tired you get, that um, know about Lauren and, and any struggles you have, and also know, you know what's going well in your life. So they, they kind of know everything about your life. And you might even tell them, these are people that you might even tell about our visit today and, and how that went, and maybe if, if that's still worrying you or making you afraid. Who, who would you say are right now in this circle here? Well, it would be my grandma and aunt, of course. Your aunt and your mom, Lauren's grandma? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And your grandma, is she also involved? Um, mm, no. Okay, so you were referring to your yes, mom. Yes. Okay. Anybody else um, within that circle? That I guess Paul. I guess he, Paul, Paul would be okay. involved. Mm -hmm. that, the children's dad? Yeah. Okay, or Lauren's dad. And uh, is Paul also the father of the twins? Yes. Okay. So Paul, anybody else? Um, well, I don't really have too many friends. I don't really hang out with people, so I guess that would be it. Okay. Do you have a best friend? Do you have one friend that you Um, I don't have too many friends, no. Okay. Now the other people that can go on these circle, this circle, if you want them there, are people that help out with Lauren or help out, um, like Michelle, you talked about earlier. I don't okay. know how you feel about that. There's also another circle. There, there are people that, that, you, um, that are in your life involved, but maybe don't know everything about your life and, or what's going on at home with Lauren. And, and this is another circle I'd like to help you fill in. Are there people that you see on a regular basis? Probably like her teacher. Okay, her daycare. Teacher. Her daycare provider. Is that two different people? There's a, yes. a preschool teacher, and then there's also somebody else there that you yes. refer to as a daycare provider? Okay. Do you know their names? Um, the teacher is Carol. Okay. And the daycare lady is Mary. Anybody else? Um, I guess that's all. Mm -hmm. Sometimes Paul's sister will help, but I don't like her driving the kids around or Lauren around because she does. We just found out she doesn't have a license. Oh, okay. But she loves Lauren too, so maybe maybe Paul's sister. You want to put her in that circle there? Okay. okay. What's her name? Candy. Anybody else that you can think of? That's all I can think of right now. Okay. How about Michelle? You work with her a lot. Yeah, Where Michelle. would she be? She would know. So Michelle would be in there too. She knows our fa she knows what's going on with our family. And what circle would you put her in? Um, probably that second one. This one here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody else? When you think about Lauren and people that care about Lauren and that are part of her life, is there anybody else that you can think of? Mm. See here, teachers. No, I think that's about it. Okay. Okay. So looking at that, that those circles there, who would you be willing to bring to our meeting when we meet? Um. Well, I guess anybody that would want to come from that from those circles. Um, probably Grandma. Okay. Because she deals with mm -hmm. Lauren on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Probably Grandma and maybe um, Auntie also. Okay. What about Aunt Candy? Um, if she wants. Okay. 
You think she could have some role, something that she could do to help get ready? And yeah, as long as she's not driving anyone around. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's an excellent point. I, I am glad to see that you're making sure that Lauren's not driving with people who don't have their license. That's mm -hmm. excellent parenting. Thank you. Anybody else? Do you want Paul to be there? He's yeah, probably Paul. pretty important. Huh? Yeah. Okay. How about the teachers? Um, if they want. I don't know how busy they are, but if they wanted to, I know they love Lauren too. Mm -hmm. And they see her every day. Okay. Well, would you like to invite them or would, do you want to give me their information and I can give them sure. a call? How do you want to do that? I can do that. You want to invite them or give the information to me? Um, I'll give you the information. Okay. So both the teachers? Uh, probably just her teacher. Oh, just Carol? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then how about Michelle? Um, is, does she have to be there? Well, you know, I'm going to leave that up to you. I know that she um, knows a lot about your situation. You've talked a lot about her today, and you've, ex you've expressed some concern about her worries. And maybe it would know. be good for She's her to know that you're worried about that. Always saying something, but mm -hmm. I guess she should be there, too. Does that make you feel uncomfortable that she's, that she's so worried? Well, she's just always, you know, I don't think she thinks I'm doing a good job with Lauren. Okay. Because of the potty training and the bottle, mm. but, you know, it's, she doesn't live there with us. Right. But I guess she so could be there, too. So maybe if she was there, you could help her understand how you're feeling about it, and, and perhaps she could give you some ideas, or yeah. you can see how it goes. That's okay. Okay. Okay, so before I go, I'll, I'll get rele a release from you to sign so that I can talk to all of these people and invite them to the meeting. Okay. I also wanted to let you know I am going to go talk to Lauren at school. That's okay. part of what I have to do for my job is to check in with her, see how she's doing. Okay. Um, and <coughs> do you have any other questions right now? Um, I think that's it for now. Okay. So the next step before we um, close up today is I'd like to kind of put together a little sentence to kind of summarize what we've talked about, to summarize what you're worried about, and then also to summarize what, what maybe the safety goal is what we call it, safety goal. What, where do we want to get to, sort of like that two-year out like we talked about, but more of an immediate thing. So before the twins come or right after the twins come, what is kind of the goal that we want to be at for safety, that you want to be at for making sure that even though you're tired and even though you're going to have a lot on your hands with three little ones, that everyone's going to know that, that all three children are being well taken care of and getting all their needs met? Well, like we said, I'm going to have to get another bassinet. Okay. So I know I have to do that before the babies are born. And... Um, um, I talked to Lauren about the babies, and she doesn't always, she, I don't think she really wants to talk about it, so I probably need to talk to her because she, she's probably going to be upset that she's not the baby anymore. Yeah, that happens a lot. <laughs> so that's what I think I need to do is talk to her more about it and get another bassinet. Okay, yes, and we'll talk more about it, about it at the meeting um, when we get together in a couple weeks, sort of how, who can help? get you your, your needs like a bassinet and things, and some ideas about how you can work with Lauren. Um, I want to talk to you about these statements that we try to come up with for people to, so that you can be clear, that we can be clear, and then when we get your team of people together, that everybody can be clear about what the worries are. And uh, I'll share with you my worries. We've talked about it a little bit today, and your worries. Um, and put it into a, a, a sentence. And we'll do that today, and then we'll do it again at the next meeting also. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tell you a statement, and I want to know, and then we'll talk about whether you agree with that statement or not. So um, for now, we'll just say children's services and um, Grace, mom, mm -hmm. are worried that when she's, because of her pregnancy, she's very tired, and that after the twins are born, she'll probably continue to be tired, and that there's a worry that if she's too tired, if you're too tired, that um, all the children's needs maybe won't be met. All their um, physical, emotional, like the time we talked about playing, um, um, physical, emotional, developmental needs. So there's a worry that because you're tired and the new babies are coming that you might need more support with those things. I might. So um, 
Let me just write it down. Okay. So right now it's going to be the, you as well as me in the statement. So I, I wrote, Grace and Children's Services are worried that when, the, when her twins are born, that she may be too tired or overwhelmed to be able to keep up by herself with all the needs of three young children. Well, that's when I think Paul needs to start helping more. Okay, so you agree that you may need some help from others? Yes. And Paul should help out, Dad should help out a mm -hmm. little more. That'd be a great thing to talk about when we get together again. Mm -hmm. And I just want to ask you, when, a little while ago I did what's called a scaling question to kind of figure out how much you agree with this statement or, or not agree with it. So a zero is, um, no way, I don't agree with that at all. I'm not worried at all that I'm going to be overwhelmed or tired with three children. Um, and 10 being, yeah, you know, I agree with that statement. I'm going to be worried. I could use some support. Where would you say you are on that? Probably like a five or six. Okay. Right, and what, what's allowed you to be um, a five or a six? Well, um, like I said, Lauren's a good girl, and I'll just talk to her about it more. She'll be okay with the baby, and she, hopefully her father will start helping more. He, the visit, like I said, the visits have been going well, so since they've been going well, I'm thinking he's getting better, and he'll be able to help a lot more with the baby. Great. So with support, you, because you feel like you already have some support or you can, you're pretty sure Paul's going to give you a little more support that you... Yeah, he hasn't had any violent outbursts in about four months. Okay. So that's pretty good for Paul. Good. So are you comfortable keeping this statement or do you want to change it? That's okay. Okay. Now then, the last thing that we're going to do is come up with a safety goal together. So, um, again, um, what I'm thinking is that I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna say a statement and just gonna say it out loud and then we'll kind of decide what you think about it, okay? So um, the safety goal is kind of what we're gonna do next, what okay. we need to work towards, um, or what we're trying to work towards actually. So children's services, grace, and her family, friends, and support people will work together to make sure that Grace always has enough support to be able to meet the needs of Lauren and her two twins when they're born, so that everybody will know that they will always be sa safe and all their needs will always be met. That sounds good. Okay. So again, I want to talk to you about the scale to see, you know, really um, how, cl how relevant or how, um, how much you can relate to that, what, how much that means to you to, to make that safety goal. Is this really your safety goal, what you want for your future? So a zero would be, it's way off, it's not what I see, it's not what I need, and a 10 being, yeah, I like that idea of working together with my friends and family and other people to make sure that as a team, we can make sure all the kids are always safe and their needs are yeah, met. Yeah, I like that. I would say it's about a nine. Okay. What would be different about it to make it a 10 for you? Um, well, I guess, it, I guess I, I'm pretty, I feel pretty strongly about that, so it, it could be a 10. Okay. Nine so or a 10. Great. Okay. <coughs> Well, I, I really um, have enjoyed my time talking with you. It seems like you're doing a lot of things really well in your family. Thank you. Um, from, you know, what you showed me about the house and um, kind of what we talked about, I think there are some things that you can work on, and there are also some things going really well. And I really look forward to the time when we get back together again in a couple of weeks to work with your network of friends and family to see um, how we can work towards a safety goal. Okay, thank you. Do you have any questions, concerns, um, anything you want to ask me? Well, no, at this point, I don't think I do. Okay. So let me just ask you one more thing. I know I said that was the last thing. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> one more thing. It's okay. <laughs> so this is called a plus delta. What I'd like to know is what worked well about our meeting today, and what would you do differently, or what could we do ne if we meet again to make it work better? Um... 
Well, I like that you um, asked me a lot of how I felt about everything. Okay. I do like that you did ask me how I feel about Lauren and how I feel about the whole situation. And um, you didn't judge me right away. You let me let you, let me tell you how I feel. Okay. And um, as for what could have done been done differently, um, I'm not too sure. But I, I don't think that it went. I think it went fine. So, okay. and it was fine. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Well, if you think of anybody else that you'd like to invite, you're welcome to invite anybody you'd like. Um, okay. You can call them up and tell them about the meeting. If you need my help with that, let me know. I left my business card for you, so if you have any questions, just give me a call, and um, I'll be getting back to you after I talk to Lauren, and um, I'm going to talk to the teachers and, and the other folks okay. um, that I talked to you about, and then also invite them to the next meeting, okay? Okay. Just make sure you tell Lauren it's nothing about her teeth, because she's scared of the dentist. Oh, So yes. I don't want her to be scared of you, so just make sure you tell her you are not have nothing to do with the dentist. Okay, I appreciate that advice. I'll make sure she knows yeah. that. I don't want her to run screaming when I walk yeah, in the exactly. room. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Okay, well, you have a great rest of your day, all right? Okay, thank you. Okay.